Dear students, today we will discuss on diseases of banana caused by bacteria and virus. Banana is one of the oldest cultivated tropical fruits in India next to mango. Diseases are major constraints in the production of banana. The plant is subjected to attack by many serious diseases caused by various pathogens. Diseases often occur in epidemic proportions and bring about catastrophic losses. In addition to fungal diseases, bacterial and viral diseases of banana have also affected banana production throughout the world. Banchitov virus has created a situation of a dismal future for the banana industry. Among the bacterial diseases, moco disease is a serious problem in several parts of the world. However, tip over or bacterial rhizome rot disease, which was considered to be minor earlier, has assumed serious proportions in recent years in India. Now let's discuss one after another about the bacterial diseases. First one is the moco disease or it is also known as bacterial wilt. It is caused by Ralstonia solanae serum. Now coming to the symptoms of the disease. Symptoms start on rapidly growing young plants. The youngest three to four leaves turn pale green or yellow and collapse near the junction of leaf lamina and petiole. Affected plants show more or less rapid wilting and collapse of leaves with a characteristic discoloration of vascular bundles, wilting and blackening of the suckers. Vascular discoloration is concentrated near the center of the pseudo stem, becoming less apparent on the periphery. In Cavendish varieties, lower leaves develop a yellowish tint, which soon spreads to other leaves of the plant which subsequently drop and petioles break at the junction of lamina or pseudo stem. Production of yellow fingers, discolored vascular bundles of fruit stalks and internal dry rot of fruits can also be noticed. Now coming to the pathogen. Ralstonia solanaceum is a species complex of bacterial wilt. Moco disease is caused by res 2 of Ralstonia solanaceum, which infects Musa and Heliconia. Cells of bacterium are rod shaped and motile by 1 to 4 flagella. They are gram negative. Now coming to the management of the disease. Growing of resistant varieties like Puvan and Monthan, adoption of strict plant quarantine and phytosanitary measures, using of healthy planting materials, exposure of soil to sunlight during dry hot weather, eradication of infected plants and suckers by application of herbicides. Disinfection of tools with formaldehyde diluted with water in 1 is to 3 ratio. 
crop rotation with sugarcane or rice and providing good drainage. Allowing fallow period or flooding of the field during off season. Fumigation of infected site with methyl bromide. Spraying of systemic insecticide to prevent transmission of disease to the healthy plants. Next disease is the Arwenia rhizome rot. Causal organism is Arwenia keratophora, subspecies keratophora, or Arwenia chrysanthem. Now coming to the symptoms of the disease. Affected plants show discoloration and soft rotting of rhizomes and suckers. The affected plants have scanty roots with dark brown lesions and necrotic tip. Mature plants seldom show above ground symptoms until the disease is well advanced. Such plants may produce small sized fruits which may fail to emerge from the shoot tip. Infected plants can be pushed over easily and are very susceptible to wind damage. In severely infected soil, newly planted rhizomes may rot and fail to sprout. When young plants are infected, a dark brown necrosis appears in the lamina of the older leaves. Later, the plant becomes stunted and yellow. As the rhizome becomes infected, pockets of dark water soak areas develop. Now coming to the disease cycle. Primary infection is caused through infected plant suckers used for planting and infested soil. And secondary infection is caused through irrigation water, implements and by insects. Now coming to the management of the disease. Avoid planting susceptible varieties during periods of high rainfall or in waterlogged soils or problematic areas. Maintain proper soil aeration by intercultivation. Ensure that only healthy suckers are planted. Crop rotation with rice or sugarcane. Remove and destroy infected plants along with roots. Dip the sucker in copper oxychloride, adderate 5 gram per liter with monocrotophos adderate 2.5 ml per liter solution. Drench the infected suckers with bleaching powder adderate 25 gram per liter solution. Now coming to the important virus diseases of banana. First one is the bunchy top of banana. It is caused by bunchy top virus or banana virus 1 or Musa virus 1. Now let's see the symptoms of the disease. The banana plants may show the symptoms of bunchy top at any stage of their growth. The leaves of a badly infected plants are bunched together at the apex of the plant and a rosette is formed. Then further elevation of the leaf stalks is arrested and therefore the leaves of infected plants stand more erect than of normal ones. Infected plants are markedly stunted and they do not usually grow taller than 2 to 3 feet. Usually the infected plants do not bear any fruits. 
the first external symptom of this disease appears in the leaves of the plant. The irregular nodular dark green streaks appear along the secondary veins on the underside of the leaf blade along the petiole or midrib. In the succeeding leaves, the symptoms are more intensified, the leaves become pale yellow, brittle and much reduced in size and then few more leaves appears at the apex of pseudo stem. The typical bunchy top symptoms is evident. The root system of infected plant exhibits decaying. Now coming to the management of the disease. Use of only certified banana suckers for planting. Eradication of all infected suckers by spraying with kerosene or by injecting 2,4-D. Remove and destroy infected plants along with roots. Bacterial control with systemic insecticides such as phosphamidone, adorate 1 ml per liter or methyl dimetone, adorate 2 ml per liter is recommended. Now coming to the next disease that is the banana mosaic. It is caused by cucumber mosaic virus. Now let us see the symptoms of the disease. The virus is characterized by the presence of typical mosaic like or discontinuous linear streaking in bands extending from margin to midrib, rolling of lip margins, twisting and bunching of lips at the crown and a rigid erectness in newly emerged lips are observed. Plants infected from suckers develop severe mosaic symptoms in the young growth, showing broadly strict chlorotic or yellowish green bands and patches of chlorotic mottling distributed in patches all over the leaf lamina. The leaves are narrower and smaller than normal and the infected plants are dwarf and lag behind in growth to such an extent that they do not produce bunch. Now coming to the management of the disease. Use of disease free suckers for planting. Dry heat treatment of suckers at 40 degrees centigrade for one day. Avoid growing cucurbits as intercrop. Elimination of weed host from plantations and surrounding areas. Bacterial control with methyl dimetone or dimethoate adorate 0.2 percent at 3 to 4 weeks interval. Now next virus disease is the banana bract mosaic. It is caused by banana bract mosaic virus. Now let us see about the symptoms of the disease. The disease is characterized by the development of black streak on petiole, yellow or pinkish coloration on pseudostem and mosaic like purple spindle shaped streaks on the bract. In severe cases, pink streaks continue on the lower surface of the mid rib. Suckers exhibit unusual reddish brown streaks at emergence and separation of leaf seed from central axis. Leaves cluster at the crown region and leaf seed separates from the central axis and half filled hands are 
other characteristic symptoms. Now coming to the management of the disease. Use of disease free suckers or planting materials for planting. Dry heat treatment of suckers at 40 degree centigrade for one day. Avoid growing cucurbits as intercrop. Vector control with methyl dimethone or dimethoate at rate 0.2 percent at 3 to 4 weeks interval. Next important disease is the banana streak. It is caused by banana streak virus. Now let's see the symptoms of the disease. The most common symptoms of the disease are narrow discontinuous and sometimes continuous chlorotic or yellow streak that run from the leaf midrib to the margin. In some cases, spindle or eye-shaped patterns are present. Yellow blotches have also been associated with banana streak. Symptoms can be sparse or concentrated. Sometimes the lamina can be distorted. Streaks later darken to orange and often become brown or black. Necrosis has also been seen on the midriff and petiole. So this is all about the symptoms of the disease. Now coming to the management. Infected plants should be destroyed and replaced with virus free plants. Mealybug vectors should be controlled if virus incidence is high. Destruction of diseased plants and field sanitation are also recommended for the management of the disease. Now coming to the conclusion of this topic. Banana, one of the important crops of India is affected by a number of bacteria and viruses other than the fungal diseases. The most important bacterial diseases of banana are the moco disease or bacterial wilt and arwenia or rhizome rot or tip over of banana. These are mainly spread through infected plant suckers used for planting, infested soil, irrigation water, implements and by insects. These diseases can be managed by use of disease free planting materials, field sanitation and control of disease transmitting insect pest. Again, among the viral diseases of banana, the most important are the bunchy top, banana mosaic, banana bract mosaic diseases and banana streak virus. They are mainly spread through disease plant suckers used for planting and by insect vectors. So these diseases can be managed by the use of disease free planting materials, field sanitation, control of insect vectors and removal and destruction of host plants.